Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about how to calculate inbreeding and here we have two pedigrees actually this is the same pedigree I am just going to use it twice because we are going to do two calculations and I don't want any lines or nodes to overlap and create a mess so here is the first question calculate inbreeding coefficient of individual 10 assuming none of the common ancestors are themselves inbred. Here is the individual number 10 for whom we are going to find what is the inbreeding coefficient or inbreeding. We have inbreeding when we have a loop so take a look how genetic information may flow here from individual 1 to individual 3 from individual 3 to individual 7 who is the mother of individual 10 and next to the individual 10 and also can flow from uh, individual 1 to 4 then to 8 father of individual 10 and then from father to his son individual 10. So this is going to be our first loop and how many nodes we have here. So this is going to be first, second, third, fourth and fifth and in this loop we only count those nodes excluding the individual for whom we are doing our calculation itself so we have here one two three four five nodes so our calculations would be as follows one half power five and five here stands for the number of nodes and one half each individual just like me, you and anyone would get 50% of the genetic information from one parent and 50% of the genetic information from the other parent. So hence this one half. But we have here another loop. Take a look. Uh, here is individual 2 also can pass its uh, genes through the, uh, this pathway which is here and we will have also a loop here and again how many nodes we have here one two three four and five so again we have to add these two numbers one half power five so we are going to get one half power four it is the same as one half multiply it by itself four times and in this case this is going to be one sixteenth. Decimal number is going to be 0 0.0625. If you need an answer in percent form we just have to multiply our answer by 100. In other words we can move this decimal point to places to the right. So inbreeding of individual 10 is going to be 6.25%. We also can say that it is 0 0.0625 but this time we shouldn't use percent here because this answer on the scale between 0 and 1 and this answer on the scale between 0 and 100%. So basically this is the same number, one on one scale, another on the other scale. Now let's move to the second question. Calculate inbreeding coefficient of individual 15 assuming F which stands for the inbreeding. Inbreeding coefficient of individual 1 is 0 0.05. So now we have to assume that inbreeding of this individual is going to be 0 0.05 five how it's going to affect our calculations this time we are doing our calculations for the individual 15 which is here and again we start from the individual one so our first loop would be as follows so here's one pass here's another one here's another one and here's another one through mother side. 
Now let's find through the further side. So it's going to be as follows. One pathway here, another pathway here, another pathway here, and another pathway here. Now let's find how many nodes we have here in this loop, excluding individual 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far, our calculations are similar to previous example, one half power seven. But we have to also include that individual one in this loop is in bread herself. So we have to multiply, but not by 0 0.05. We actually, in this case, would decrease in breeding of the individual 15. So we have to add one here in order to increase in breeding. And this is exactly what should happen. So we should get here one point zero five. So we have to multiply by one point zero five to reflect in our calculations that individual one here is inbred herself by five percent. But here we also have another loop that comes from individual number two. So genetic information may flow as follows from two to three, from three to six from 6 to 12, and from 12 to 15. And on the other side, which is paternal side, it's going to be as follows. And again, we have to find how many nodes we have here. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we have to add one half power seven. And our answer is going to be 0 0.01601565. Again, if you need an answer in percent form, we just have to multiply this answer by 100. That basically means that we have to move this decimal point two places to the right. And the answer is going to be 1.6%. And if you wonder what is the inbreeding of individual 15 would be if individual number one is not going to be inbred. In this case, inbreeding coefficient would be 1.56%, which is very, very close to this number. So as you see, 5% inbreeding of the individual number one affects inbreeding of the individual number 15, but this effect is insignificant. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.